Hey, what's up everyone? This is Julie Reynolds, AKA Nurse Jar. In this training video, I'll be demonstrating the 2022 Pearson View and Credentia testable skill performs catheter care on a female client. This skill is performed on a mannequin. So let's go ahead and get started, all right? Hey, good morning, Mrs. Jones, how are you? Awesome, I'm Julie, I'm your CNA, and today I'm gonna to be cleaning your catheter, okay? Before I get started, I just wanna make sure your bed is in a low safe position, and it is. Your bed wheels are locked, your head of bed is flat. I'm gonna give you your call light in your hand. I'm gonna provide you with privacy by closing your privacy curtain, okay? Mrs. Jones, I'm gonna go wash my hands and gather my supplies. Are, is there anything I can do for you before I leave? All right, Mrs. Jones, I'll be right back. Washing hands. Now for Pearson View and Credentia at the test sites, your supplies will be stored either in a foul cabinet somewhere, on a bookshelf somewhere in the uh, skills testing room, or on a table. I have my room set up for Prometric now that Texas is a Prometric state. So my supplies are right next to the bedside, but just keep in mind, Pearson View and Credentia, um, your supplies will not be directly like right next to the bedside, okay? Pearson View does not require, or Credentia does not require uh, the placing of a clean barrier over the bedside table, okay? So you do not need to do that unless you want to, but that's an, you know, an additional unnecessary step that can eat up your time, okay? So for Pearson View and Credentia, it is not required to place a clean barrier. So the first supply items that I'm going to collect is going to be my bath basin and soap. I'm going to collect one pair of gloves, a chucks to use as a linen protector, and three washcloths. One to wash the catheter, the second washcloth to rinse the catheter, and the third washcloth to dry the catheter. The reason I don't use a towel for drying the catheter is because the catheter's diameter is very small and the towel is extremely bulky, okay? You're gonna have a difficult time trying to wrap that towel around the catheter to uh, dry it, okay? So it's best to also use a uh, washcloth, okay, to dry the catheter. So if you see, I have my supplies set up or organize in the order in which I'm going to use them. If you're able to do that, that will benefit you greatly because it will actually cue you on what step you need to do next, okay? Mrs. Jones, I have all of my supplies. Um, I need to go fill the basin with water and I'll be right back, okay? All right, so when I fill the basin with water, I'm not gonna put a lot of water in it. You don't need a lot of water for catheter care or for peri care, okay? So I'll probably just fill it up to like right here, okay? I'm testing the water. Okay, so here's the deal. You can either test the water while you're filling the basin at the sink. If you do, make sure you verbalize that you're doing so and you verbalize loud enough that the NAE hears you. Or you can wait till you get back to the bedside to test the water. You can test with your fingers, you can test with your wrist, you can test with your elbow, you can even test with gloved hand, okay? So I've already tested the water at the sink. Hi, Mrs. Jones. I'm back with the bath basin. I have it filled with water. I've tested it. It feels good to me. 
but I would like for you to test it to ensure it's a comfortable temperature for you. At this time, the NAE should speak for the mannequin. It feels good? Awesome. Mrs. Jones, I'm just putting on my gloves uh, because I'm gonna get ready to place the linen protector, okay? Now, when placing the linen protector, you can do it one of two ways. You can either raise the mannequin's hips, but if you find that too difficult, you can always turn the mannequin on its side. But before you turn the mannequin on its side, you'll need to raise the side rail on the opposite side of the bed, okay, before turning the mannequin. In this uh, training video, I'm going to be raising the mannequin's hips. Mrs. Jones, I'm going to expose you just by moving your sheets down to your knees, making sure I do not go past knee level. And then I'm going to raise your gown to hip level. Now, Pearson View and Credentia does not emphasize body mechanics. So it's not a requirement for you to raise the level of the bed to a comfortable working height for you. Now, if you're seven feet tall, right, just use common sense, okay? You don't want to strain your back, right? So if you're six feet tall, seven feet tall, uh, go ahead and raise the level of the bed, okay, to a comfortable working height for you. I'm 5'2", so I'm not hunching over and straining my back, okay? But I just want to make clear that Pearson View in Credentia does not emphasize body mechanics so you won't get flagged if you do not raise the level of the bed, okay, to a comfortable working height. All right, Mrs. Jones, I'm uh, just getting my chucks ready to use as a linen protector to place up underneath you. I just wanna make sure that it is completely underneath your buttocks. There we go. On the count of three, I'm gonna raise your hips and pull the chucks through, okay? If the testing site does not have a chucks, you can always use a towel, okay? All right, Mrs. Jones, you can lower your hips back down. And I'm just going to move your catheter and pull the chucks on through. There we go. Now, when placing the chucks, you have to ensure that it is completely underneath the buttocks and the peri area. So if you see the NAE walking around while you're placing the chucks or after, immediately after you place the chucks, check again, okay, to make sure it's completely under the mannequin's buttocks, okay, and peri area. Now I'm going to take the first washcloth. I'm going to wet it, squeeze it out really good. I'm going to open it up and apply soap. Ensure I get soap over all areas of the washcloth just by rubbing it together. Then I'm going to fold it back into fours or quads. Now, before you start washing, you need to make sure that you secure the catheter at the meatus, meaning your hands should be, uh, when holding that catheter, you should be touching the mannequin, okay? What I'm gonna do is wrap the washcloth around the entire diameter of the catheter and I'm going to clean the entire length of the catheter except for the ports. Then I'm going to gently place it down on the linen protector. Now Pearson View and Credentia does not specify how many times you have to wash the catheter or you have to rinse the catheter or how many you know, a number of strokes you have to use to dry the catheter. So it's best just to do it like I just did, wrap that washcloth around it, and just use one wipe the entire length of the catheter. Now, I know it says in your candidate handbook to clean at least four inches, but what is four inches? Do you have a, measure, a measurement tape or measuring tape? No. So just clean the entire length because what's four inches to you may not be four inches to the NAE. So it's best, again, just to clean the entire length of the catheter except for the ports, okay? The second washcloth, I'm going to wet it. I'm gonna keep it in fours, squeeze it all that water out because I don't want water dripping. 
okay? Have it in fours, and then I'm going to rinse in the same manner that I washed. So I'm gonna hold the catheter at the meatus. Again, your fingers should be touching the mannequin. I'm going to wrap the washcloth around the entire diameter of the catheter. I'm going to rinse the entire length and then gently place it on the, uh, excuse me, the linen protector. I'm gonna hang this washcloth on the side of the basin. Now my third washcloth, I'm not going to wet. I'm going to use this to dry in the same manner that I washed and rinsed. So I'm going to hold the catheter, secure it at the meatus, wrap, wrap it around the entire diameter of the catheter, gently clean the entire length of the catheter, excluding the port. Then I'm going to gently place it on the linen protector. And I'm going to place this washcloth on the basin. Now the next thing that I'm going to do, which is the most common forgotten step, is the removal of the linen protector. So the same way that I placed it, I'm going to remove it in the same manner. Mrs. Jones, on the count of three, I'm going to raise your hips. Okay, I'm just going to place your catheter here so I won't snag it. I'm going to place my arms underneath your thighs and on the count of three, I'm gonna raise your hips, one, two, three. Now, as I'm raising the hips, I'm rolling the chucks away from me and pulling it towards me at the same time, making sure it does not come into contact with my clothing. I'm going to immediately dispose of it into the waste bin. If you use a towel for the linen protector, please make sure you dispose of it into the soiled linen hamper. Now the next thing I'm going to do is cover Mrs. Jones back up. So I'm gonna start with my elbows. Usually when you start with your elbows, the NAE will tell you, don't worry about that, go ahead and use your hands, right? So I'm gonna use my hands to cover her back up. She still has her call light in her hand. All right, Mrs. Jones, I'm all done cleaning your catheter. Your bed is still in a low safe position. Bed wheels are locked. You still have your call light in hand. Privacy is maintained. Is there anything I can do for you before I leave to go dispose of my supplies? All right, Mrs. Jones, you have a good day. At this time, I'm gonna uh, take, we're gonna move this table back over here. I'm going to gather all of my supplies I'm going to dispose of my soiled linen into the soiled linen hamper, okay? I'm going to go place my soap wherever the designated dirty area is. Now I'm going to empty, rinse, and dry my basin. And then I'm going to place the basin into the designated dirty area, okay? At this time, I'm going to remove my gloves without contaminating myself. Dispose of them and immediately verbalize washing hands, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna wait a few seconds just to go back through all my steps, make sure I did not perform a step incorrectly or I did not omit a step. When I feel good about my performance, I will then state washing hands, skill complete. All right, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this training video.